Hey everyone, my name is Jay, and I'm sure you've all wondering where I've been uh, these past two weeks. I have been in Israel, and uh, I was in Israel for a free trip uh, off of a program called Birthright. Uh, look it up, it's really cool, it's a lot of fun. Uh, it's, re oh, it's really fun. I did so much, I swam in the Dead Sea, I rode a camel, I stood next to the western wall like there was i just went all over the place from jerusalem to tel aviv to just from north to south all across israel over the course of 10 days and it was just a fantastic experience so i highly recommend it um getting that out of the way i'd wanted to uh kind of do a little news segment i might just do it with the gopro i think i kind of like how it looks um we'll we'll see how it looks in the editing phase, but um, I'm going to do a little news segment and talk about kind of some of the stuff that's going on in the Nerf world right now. Uh, basically, I'm just going to go through, talk about some different blasters, talk about some news that's going on, and yeah, see how it turns out, see if you guys like it. Uh, just let me know in the comments below. Uh, you guys would have known where I was if you had uh, liked my Facebook page, which most of you do not. So uh, check out, link in the description below. Uh, like my Facebook page, and it'll keep you up to date about what's going on with me. So, to the news. Basically, what has been going on recently is a lot of the big name nerfers have been dropping out of the game, and this came as a total shock to me, but uh, the most recent of which was Coop772, who is a fantastic modifier and fantastic artist. I, I really believe that, that what he does is art, because it is so so good. Uh, he said he was dropping out for personal reasons, so uh, I'm, I'm not one to pry. I don't, I don't want people to bug him about that. I, don't, I know he doesn't want to be bugged about that, but uh, I'm really sad to see him go. I mean, he was, he's just incredible, and uh, you know, he was just pumping out stuff left and right, and all of a sudden, you know, he just ended it. So I guess, you know, stuff comes up. Next, we have some new blasters that are popping up online, and these aren't official official, but they're official. I mean, Hasbro hasn't released a statement about them yet, but they've been released. The pictures have been released. So, first off, we have the uh, Mega Thunderbow, which uh, I'll put a little graphic up right here to show you a picture of it, which is ugly as sin. Uh, if... Iron Man and Hawkeye had a baby, this is what it would look like. I have no interest in this. I mean, I'm I'm curious to see, I'm only curious to see how it works internally, and other than that, I would never buy it, I would never use it for Nerf. Uh, I think it is really stupid, but that's just me. I mean, you can have your own opinions, guys. Uh, it looks like it's a selective AR system, like in the Rough Cut or the... Uh, Zombie Strike Crossbow, I forget the name of it, uh, but it looks useless. Like, it, it boasts 100 foot ranges, but I just, uh, the Mega Line is really letting me down. Next, we have the Zombie Strike Sling Fire, which is modeled after the old Winchester rifle, the gun that won the West. So, this is really, really exciting for me because it's about time that we had a new clip-fed blaster for one of these new lines. I've been really depressed about the Zombie Strike and Rebel lines because they have not delivered on clip-fed blasters. So it's about time. I'm definitely going to be purchasing this one at some point and we'll be doing a review of it. I'm curious to see how it works. I really want to know. Um, but yeah, that is the Zombie Strike line is starting to look up now. Next, we have the Rebel Agent Bow and the bow is a dead horse and nerf just keeps kicking it i this is again this is my personal opinion but i am so sick of bow revamps i am so sick of bow revamps i cannot express how sick of bow revamps i am because they just keep coming there's you know there's the heartbreaker bow there's five million different repaints of the heartbreaker bow there's the big bad bow there's the blazing bow uh which is like a rocket launcher which I don't like. I hate these drawback and release style blasters. I don't like them. What makes the agent bow interesting is that they're actually like dart arrows. So this should be intriguing. I'm not, I'm, I'm on the fence about this one, but all the other bow revamps that are coming out, I'm so sick of. Then we have the demolisher. This thing is interesting and it seems, I feel like Nerf walks this 
fine line between listening to their fans and completely disregarding what they're saying. Uh, because sometimes Nerf comes out with something incredible and the fans are like, yes, finally, we've been asking for this for ages. But, you know, then they come out with another bow revamp. Um, so this is interesting. It is a, I believe it is semi-automatic. It is a flywheel blaster. But what's interesting is that it has a rocket launcher undergun attachment. So, I mean, Nerfers have been doing this for years now, attaching like Mavericks and strong arms and all sorts of things underneath the barrels of their guns. But Nerf finally decided to take a stab at it themselves. And I'm curious, what I really want to know is if that is, is modular, if you can detach it. Because if that's the case, that would be really cool. I would just like to see the Demolisher without the attachment because I think it would look really cool. What worries me, though, is the banana clip. And uh, it's a 10-round clip, and I feel like you're just going to run into problems with that. Like, it's just not going to work out well. I don't know how they're making it work. They might, I mean, they might be geniuses and figure something out, but... I foresee a lot of jamming coming from that 10 round clip, so I'm probably, unless it works really well, I'm probably not going to be using this. I will be getting this to do a review of this because I'm curious about it. I want to know how the rocket launcher works, I want to know the ranges, it's saying 100 feet, but I doubt it. I mean, I'm really not that confident in it. Finally, going back to the whole walking eraser's edge kind of thing, uh, this is the other end of the spectrum. I mean, Nerf finally listened to their modders with the whole underbarrel attachment, but now they're apparently doing a blue reshell of the uh, Centurion, which is a terrible idea. Because from the picture that I've seen, and I'll put the picture up right here, from the picture that I've seen, it looks ugly as sin. Uh, and that's beside the fact that it's a Centurion, which sucks. So, yeah. That is basically the things that are popping up right now online. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this segment. I, if you guys want me to do more of this, I will do more of this every now and then. Um, I might make it a weekly thing. Maybe not. We'll see. But uh, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, this has been a news update. If you guys like what you see, please subscribe so I can continue to make videos. I'm almost to 1,000 subscribers, and when I hit 1,000 subscribers, something cool might happen. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.